This is Brian David Marshall from Magic the Gathering. I'm here with Kenneth Nagel. Kenneth uh, is just coming off of the great designer search. He just crossed the finish line. Mm -hmm. uh, didn't win, but you won anyway. Yeah, it's, it's really strange. Uh, I received a mixed bag from R&D. I didn't win, but I still won a prize uh, that basically is what I wanted anyway. So I still consider it a win. Um, is very very challenging uh, contest is more challenging than I've ever thought it could be and uh, is I'd say it's the best game I've ever played um, it's and did you view yeah. it did you did you view it as a game when you were when you were going through the process yes and no I try to approach it from the standpoint of a game in that you know you're competing against everyone else and you have to follow the rules but then sometimes you don't have to follow the rules if, if you can uh, get away with it. Um, I learned a whole lot about card design and uh, the jobs that these designers do is, is much harder than it looks. And a lot of times they're, uh, they're protecting us from ourselves uh, because, because a lot of the stuff that I come up with is uh, it's wouldn't wouldn't work in a real magic set and the rigorous process they go through is a very very eye-opening it's very interesting actually because you you really are making the journey from someone who has been a commentator about magic in the forums okay. for a long time right I've, as long as i've been reading uh magicgathering.com certainly i've seen you as nort uh -huh. in the forums and so you've been writing about magic so it's very interesting to see someone coming up instead of coming through, say, the Pro Tour ranks, coming up through, like, the, the Magic community ranks to, to take a job uh, with Wizards of the Coast seems very interesting to me. Yeah, at first I, uh, I like to post in forums because it's uh, very... I like to interact with people, and I try to teach them things to make them better because I, I really could have used the help when I first started. And from there I started writing articles uh, because I, my audience could be bigger, in a, in a sense. And... Basically, I'm, it's, it's some kind of, I, was a, I was a lab instructor for some point during school. It's some kind of teacher instinct in me that I see people do things wrong. I just I, I feel the need to, to, to help out and f fix it for them, and I do that as best as I can. Over the course of the uh, three months you were doing the Great Designer Search, is there any work or cards or ideas that you came up with that you're especially proud of? Um, I'm especially proud of... My very first card I submitted, uh, Forest Folk. It's a creature land, Tree Folk Forest. I submitted him as a 2-2. Two -two. It's probably a little too good, but uh, I'm, I'm of the opinion that it's not my job to make the cards too good. Uh, that's my favorite card. It, it actually it interacts with everything I like. It interacts with land grants, with fetch lands, with query and ranger. And it's basically... Uh, it's basically my invitational card if I was to ever be in an invitational, and that's the card I would submit. And if, if they would print just one card from me, it's the card I would want them to print. Not necessarily as I submitted it, but as close as, as close enough. What, what are you expecting from the next year now that you, uh, you've been offered a uh, position? Um, I've been offered a six-month internship, and I believe I'm going to start with... Uh, uh, TCG design, it concludes magic design because Mark Rosewater needs to, he says, uh, knock the kinks out, I guess, of me. I knock the complexity out of my design. Uh, so basically, yeah, I, I have an internship, but I still need to, you know, prove that uh, I can do it because as is now, I'm, I'm too rough. But, uh, He's given me time to prove myself. You feel like you can do it? Uh, yes, I feel I can do it because with, with what coaching I've had, uh, they say I'm, I'm good at taking advice. And Mark Rosewater wants to see me when I'm not under a 72-hour deadline <laughs> with you know, no sleep and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, I hope it's a permanent thing. And I understand that people are going to get an interesting look inside the process from you sometime in the near future? Yeah, I have a turnout report I'm going to post on magicthegarden.com. It's hopefully 
the point of it is to show just how difficult the test was. I've, I've been through a lot in my life. I've, I've, I've gotten a master's degree in computer science. I've been in marching band and I have a black belt in Taekwondo and this is harder than all of those, okay? It's, this is a hard test and uh, I, I hope to get across just how hard it was. So you must feel pretty glad that it's over? I'm, I can actually sleep tonight. I haven't had any sleep uh, <laughs> last night, nor any during any time during the, uh, whenever I had a challenge. I had a maximum, about 10 hours per weekend, I would say, because it's just that hard. Well, congratulations. Get a good night's sleep tonight, and uh, look forward to seeing what you produce over the next six months.